I'm happy to talk to you. I'm happy to talk to anybody about football. Football is a game of opinions. And as you all know, when, when you go out to, to see them, you're talking about football, one fella says this, the other fella says that. I say this, you say that. If there wasn't that argument to the game, it should have been the most boring uh, sport in the world. But there is that argument, and that's what, that's what everybody is allowed. Everybody's allowed their view, whether it's... Uh, I suppose when, when you win, it's right. When you lose, it's wrong. So Germany was wrong, and yesterday was right. That's what some people would say. But I, I, I don't think it's that, you know, that clean. I think. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I've come in fresh, Paul, from it, and I'm able to see. And you take the like of Darren Gibson, who's, who's given up two weeks, uh, well, ten days to come in here. He's fought and battled for us in Germany, and now he's gone home. And he has a crucial ligament. You know, that, that's, that's, that's his livelihood. That's horrendous. And that man deserves the respect and our thanks for competing for his country. And that's what the players do. There's other players there who've given up two weeks, have trouble in their clubs because they're coming in here, and they don't even get a game. And they don't get the credit and the respect. And, it, and we need to really look at it and say, the FAI is not the enemy. The Irish team is not the enemy. The Irish team is, does their best on behalf of the country. And they really do. And, and th all them sort of little elements I'm talking to you about there, fellas giving up two weeks, not, not getting a kick of the ball. That's very, very hard to take for their families, for their careers, for their clubs. And we need to respect and we need to have balanced argument. Of course we need debate. Of course we have different views. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't have it any other way in any way. But it, it, the FAI and the Irish team is the people's team. And we give up our time and the players give up their time for the country. And that really should be... Balanced. It should be brought into the equation. Anyway. I'm not saying treat them namby pamby or, or anything like that, but it should be in the equation. And I think we've lost a little bit of sight of that. I think it'd be a far better sport, a far better arena, if if the personalised stuff was gone, and we talked about the football, and we talked about the positions of it, and we talked about the value, and we talked about performances. I think that'd be better for everybody. I didn't, I didn't see it, Paul. I didn't hear it, and I, I've managed, thank God, uh, to stay away from most of that stuff. I, I really have, and I think you've been very fair to me as a group of people, so I, I can't have an argument. Okay, I don't know what would have happened had we lost the game, and I, I might have had a different thoughts at 1 0 down, but uh, I enjoyed it, and thanks. No, how, how is Darren Gibson? Yeah, he's not good, he's not good. Um, as I said, he, he played against Germany. Maybe, you know, people say he, he, he came back too soon, probably, I don't know, but I think he was fitting well. He played, he played bits for his club before he came in. I, I fe feel very bad for him. Um, because he, he did give everything he had. He's a fine talent. He's, he's really, really could be a player that Ireland could build. It, you know, one of the players that Ireland could build around in the coming, it, depending on the way they play in the coming years. Where is he at the moment? Is, is he back in England? I was, no, I, I, I'm not sure. I, I was talking to the doctor this morning. I think still. he's back, yeah. yeah. And have you had a, have you had, have you had a chance to do those? Uh, I s no, not yet. I haven't had a chance to do one, but I did speak to, to him out there and after the, I was with him for, the, for a time after, and it's, it's awful. And it looks like it might be a few months, yeah. And, and with the season the way it is, uh, um, it's not going to be easy for him to get back to the season, I wouldn't think. Noel, um, what, what is your position now? Because as it is, we don't have a manager for whatever matches there may be next month. Do you just continue as you are until the total awards? Well, this was me brief to do the two, to do the two games. I've, I've really just come on a flow. Maybe it wasn't too long in bed last night, but I, it's, it's the FAI's choice. I'm here. I'm an FAI employee. I'll do what, I, what I've been asked to do. If I'm asked to do something different, I'll do that as well. So that's, that's up to them. Well, I suppose, you know, before this all started, I think most people going into this, you'd say, look, we're going to get a, you know, a defeat against Germany, a win against Kazakhstan, play some nice football. You know, people would have taken that, you know. So the criticism just... Did that happen? Do you think that happened? Sorry? Do you, do you think that happened from your view? Yeah. Yeah. We done a little clip uh, for the players, which I always do, and we took it from the Germany game. And I promise you, there's, there's 12, 13 minutes of really, really top class football. And I, and I, you know, to take it out, clip it out, and you'll see it. Some of the counter attacking was as good as that, and you'd see. Some of the defending is terrific. You know, people say Germany had 75% of the ball, or 70%, whatever they had. <coughs> what you have to realise in, in a tactical game, we didn't compete for the ball. So they'd be making seven or eight or ten or nine passes that we've allowed them to make because we haven't challenged and pressed. We've said, you keep the ball. And, and our hope was they'd get sloppy and lose concentration and we'd win it back on occasion and counter quick, which is what we've done. So 
that was a tactical that 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 part of the game needs to be discussed and and we all need to discuss that and say what's the value in that um and then i've no i've no issues at all. i thought it was very good you've had a taste of this top job now <laughs> i know what you i know what's coming <laughs> Oh, I tell you. You know, the last, the last ten days, you put your CV forward. You I, I've no interest in CVs. I, I've just done the job, you know. And, and as, as I said, tomorrow I'll be doing a different job in football. But and you're next, an, you're, you're an ambitious man. And this is the top. <coughs> it's, I've, I've enjoyed it, but I'm a realist. I think we go back to two weeks ago. I'm a realist. I understand. Uh, you just wouldn't let me have the job. <laughs> so there's no problem with that either. But no, Brian Kerr got the top job. Yeah. successful underage teams. Yes. Would, would you maybe somewhere in your mind think that if you can make a real success at the under twenty one job? Oh, I think I'm making a success at the under twenty ones. <coughs> but, it, but in the long run, you know, if you had the same sort of success or anything close to the Brian had with underage teams, is, is it in your head? I, I think all, all the coaches in the FEI, and there's a lot of coaches in the FEI, they're working on a, on a weekly basis, on a daily basis, on a monthly basis at the various different international levels. All of them men are talented people, and lots of them would have ambitions to manage the 17s, the 19s, the 21s and the seniors. And everybody in football would have, that's a natural thing. But very few get a chance. And I, I, I feel very lucky to have been given the opportunity to do two games while me, all my family were with me. Everybody was healthy. I just feel, I feel honoured. I really do. I think the, the pressure is you're probably right. I think that's probably the truth, yeah. But I mean, I've, I've spoken to Brian a couple of times since I got the job, and I found him very helpful, and, and, and I think that's, that needs to be noted as well. And so I've spoken to a lot of other people. I've spoken to Don Givens. I've spoken to the scouts. I've gone to England, and I've been chasing the, the, the dream for two and a half weeks, and there's a lot of people <coughs> that, I, that I need to be thankful to. The backroom staff in the FAI, uh, the admin in the FAI, the way, the way we're shepherded around, gone in and out of Germany like, like James Bond was. But uh, <laughs> it, it, was, it was terrific. It doesn't get enough recognition. And I didn't realise it myself. I really didn't realise the level and the quality that goes in to, to, uh, into making an international team. They're getting well paid. <laughs> You know, they are, and, and anybody who wants to get into that arena ne understands and needs to know the media is a crucial part in promoting the team. It's also a, a, a tough task to go in and please people. And I know some, some people will be coming even with agendas. I'm not suggesting anybody here has an agenda, but at the, in other countries, I think that might be, that might be the case. Who do you think is the best man to take over now? I've no idea. I've absolutely no idea. I, I, I'm still on, I'm, when this meeting is finished, then I'm done. So I, I might tell you in a week. Ah, oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I quit. <laughs> no, on a very practical level, how important was that victory with oh. the seedings in mind? Oh, the yeah, yeah. we were all aware of it. You know, we were all aware of it. The other results have gone well. I think Romania have to, have to play two, two games. They have to win two games. The boys are delighted. I mean, that was a key match. And, and you people would have told me if it had gone wrong how key it was. I know, but I had to put my hand up and say, dud. But does it, does it, with, the, with that Euro 2016... Second, second seed is incredible. Uh, second seed, you know, that could be worth a lot of money to the association. It could be worth a lot of other football days for us. It could mean qualification because two teams go through. It, it, that could be massive. It could be massive. Uh, we were aware of it. I did, it wasn't at the forefront because I just wanted to get a performance from players about different things. And, but, yeah, we were all scared. Do you know how much yeah. And there was a lot of debate when Trapp was in charge about 4 4 2 and his yeah. reliance on 4 4 2. Yeah. Do you think this 4 2 3 1 formation that you've used now yeah. in both games successfully, do you think that's a blueprint for the future for Ireland? Football? I've been using it for a while, uh, for an awful long time, and I think the beauty about, and this is a football discussion, the, the, the beauty of it is that people can move from positions out, out wide, they can become a 10, they can become a 9, and if you notice them, the players, the forward players, that's what they've done. They've come in from the left and played midfield. They've come in from the left, played centre forward. Come in from the right, played ten. And that movement is very difficult to match and very difficult to mark. And you can only mark it maybe not only the right way is doing, but one of the ways is to flood the area. So systems, you can talk anything you like, but the areas in, in football around the ball is getting flooded with players, both in possession and both in defence. And that's where you see swarms going all over the park. Barcelona have done it. The Germans have taken it on, and I think they were stronger and better. 
And this is the debate that we should be having. Do you, do you think the biggest concern with it, uh, and look, you, I, I bet you're great at knowledge on this one by some distance, but can it not be a little bit narrow at times? Absolutely. But you, when, you, when, you, when it's narrow, you feel defensively safe. But when you, when you go and expose yourself, you feel, you feel vulnerable. And, and that's why the modern player now has to have both things, has to be able to attack and has to be able to defend. And <coughs> I don't see a team strong enough to say we're going to play an outside right, an outside left, and we'll wait till we get the ball to them. I don't believe in that. There are other people, and, and there are people in the FAI who would argue with me, tooth and nail, to the opposite. And that's, that's football argument, and that's what we should be doing. And I've no difficulty with anybody standing over and saying, well, that's wrong. Because ultimately then, we see what the result is, and that will dictate. When you win, it's, it's very easy to say, all right. If, if there's nobody in, that's a, a strong possibility, I suppose, but I don't know. It's, it's not for me, it's for the FAI. And I'd be wrong to say yes, because you'd be egging their face. I, I really enjoy it. I'll tell you tomorrow when I wake up and say uh, how, how it went, because it, it's been mad. I just wonder, you say you, you don't know the, 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 the full-time job. Would you consider now maybe looking at other countries and, and maybe going for the number one job elsewhere? I'd have to have an interpreter with me. The double and accent, I don't think they'd understand it. I am, I am in uh, the media. I worked with Tony in 1990, 1991, 1988. I was a co-commentator on RTE uh, for the Irish matches. And anybody who now over the years, I'll argue with anybody over football, no difficulty. Lose me, lose the plot, I've lost the plot on the pitch. Uh, I've lost the plot off the pitch. That's football, it's a passionate game. Um, but but uh, the next minute or the next second, when I lose it, it comes back. And we're all right. I think we're all right, Tony. Yeah, are we all right, Paul? <laughs> Paul, are we all right? I know you did. You, you, yeah. Uh, you oh, that was the previous one. Yeah, that was very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> I knew as soon as I said that. I knew as soon as I said that. There was people scribbling. As a manager, I wouldn't single out anybody for particular other than Darren, obviously. But uh, the, the boys were terrific. Uh, I was felt made feel welcome, and without players, you're nothing. It's a, it's a player's game, and there's far too much uh, emphasis put on the manager, the super manager, this, this manager, that manager. The players are the key. Players can manage themselves. Players, if they're put in the right direction, they they can do these things themselves, and they can make a job very easy. But likewise, players can make a job. A misery, and I haven't found that. I, th I, I think players have come over here to play for Ireland, and I would re-emphasise re that they come, they give up their time, they put their bodies at risk in their clubs, they give everything they have for the country, and I think we should show a little bit more appreciation for that. And, and definitely let there be balanced argument, definitely let there be uh, opinions, but the fact that they come here, probably it's, it's been lost over the years, that, that what, they, what they do. No, I was going to ask you about the, the Shane Long tweet you just before the game. You <laughs> I, d I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, it's, it's harsh, but, but, but I mean, he's clearly frustrated he hasn't played. Well, what do you have to say about, about him? Did you have to have a word? Let, let, me, let me put it this way in context for you people. You're here and, you, and you're with me for the last, say, ten and a half days. And you put the stuff back to your editor. And the editor <laughs> says, I'm not using that today. 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 The competition is over. You've written all your stuff. And you didn't get that and published. How would you feel? And that's the same. He's come here, he's given up his time, he's left his family, he's done all of that sort of stuff, he's done the, the bits of training. He's left out in both games, he didn't get a kick at the ball. I certainly wouldn't be expecting him to do a jig, I'd be expecting him to be upset. And that would be professional. If he lost his, his rang and said something, what's it, Cowboys? That's it, no difficulty. It it's understandable. It's understandable. It's not something anybody would welcome, but I think if, if, if you use... What I'm saying today about you doing all your work and not getting it, nothing goes on air. You're not going to think your editor is a particularly favourable fella. No, no, maybe, maybe Peter can answer this, but when, when are the games in the November window going to be confirmed? Or not? I think it's in the next couple of days, I don't know. It's, it's going to be confirmed. Well, 
I'd be going to games anyway. So if 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 I book my flights and I book the boat, I go on the boat. Um, I might just have to revert to London or something like that. <laughs> might have to go Man United versus City. <laughs> <laughs> Tough gigs.